Stop by to interact with the community and I every Friday night at 8 o'clock for live stream Fridays. Welcome trolls. <laughs>
People get so mad. Yeah, I'm not going to stop this research. I'm so happy that I'm able to do this technique in processing simple straight up inversion in a green filter. Wow. Talk about straight up, straight forward. No filters, guys. See, to and from, to and from. That's what I'm doing, going back and forth. There's the corner, again, the, the edge, Kepler crater. We see that crater there. Beautiful, 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 beautiful surface. And it's under a haze. And I'm going to show you, we're going to get in really close to Kepler crater. And we're going to see the mountainous layers of the objects on the ground, how they go sideways and upwards and over the mountains. And it's just very, very beautiful. It's very real and they're all there. So say to yourself, we have to zoom in close enough to be able to see what is on top of these objects. Because on top of those objects are the supposed cities. Yep, and that's why I'm here. And that's what I'll be showing you guys. And once we get the 43 inch telescope, <sighs> look at the blues at the bottom. Look at that, all around the crater. Now, do you guys understand that Kepler Crater is a cloud? <laughs> We're looking inside a very hard area um, to see the surface. It's absolutely blinding. Kepler Crater, it's just on the edge of the, the moon there as we see it. And here it is. Kep Actually, no. Guys, this is the small crater on the edge inside, like, uh, along the ridge there. So look how close we are. It's as big as Kepler now. <laughs> That's what most people don't understand is the scale and the size. So let's talk about a bit about the size and scale of uh, what we know as information for Kepler Crater. Bruce never shows us his before and after pictures, but they never come see the bloody videos when I'm doing the before and afters. And this is an inversion. Everyone knows what inversion is. No one in the world can say anything against an inversion, inverted bloody photo. But the fact that it's the moon inversion photo, people get mad. I've shown this. I've done the test, guys, with my house, me, cats, me in front of the pool in the sun. I've done all the tests. They're all on the channels. And uh, you guys should see how much fun poor John Lear is having on this Facebook page. I'm telling you, I have so much respect for that guy. Um, the the bull crap he must have taken in his life when he told people there was atmosphere up there. He must know exactly what the hell's going on with me for damn sure. Definitely sure. Here it is. More beautiful than ever seen before for me. So we're looking at, yeah, that's right, the inside of the crater. Telescopes, guys, is what causes us to see things concave. It's that simple. I'm going to take the time to say something right now to those of you who come here to see my research. I assure you, you're looking at objects on the surface. And I am going to tell you to never mind what anyone is saying against this research because it's a lie. They're lying. They're trying to discredit me. And the fact that I'm doing this straight up, straight up, process i assure you there's no lies don't even be bothered by anyone telling you this is um, not real and it will only get better and the objects that you're looking at on the surface are really there you guys what you guys have to do is to go look up pixelation and to understand it because i've done it since the beginning of my research people have been telling me that i have to find different ways to be able to prove this because it's just too blurry and that I'm not proving anything. The picture you're looking at right now took me two and a half years to be able to see those little bumps on the ground. Did you guys know that? We're looking at cloud cover. And underneath that cloud cover, there's there's activity. There's um, possibly thousands of beings moving around up there. Why do I say it? Because I've proved it. I've seen, I've seen lights moving around. I don't know how many of them are up there, but there's one. I know that. Look at that in the corner. This isn't Kepler, guys. That's the small one that's in the corner on top of Kepler inside of the ray system, the supposed ray system. Look at that. We can see all the edge. And do you know what I did and why I show my work this way now? Because people told me it was pixelation. I had nothing to prove. 
for those who don't understand pixelation, a pixelation is a layer over top of the image, not integrated under bloody clouds. And everyone knows that. And the fact that I'm showing these objects under a cloud cover, <laughs> it proved that too, that there are clouds on the surface, not just a dust or a haze. And it could be just a dust or a haze, but if it is, it's still there. And that's what's hiding everything. But this isn't with a filter. If you call uh, a green picture that was inverted a filter, well, okay, so be it. It's a filter, and that's what the moon looks like. And here's in black and white, straight up. These are all different shots of the moon. And if I have to go and put a number on each bloody rock I see here, which I'm not going to do, I will. Thanks, Ben Gates, for the generous contributions, man. Thanks for believing in the research. Thanks, everyone. So the army's here in Quebec because we have flooding now. We have a dike broken. A second dike's going to break. And sadly, we have some deaths too. So uh, if ever something did happen that, and not to alarm you guys, I should be back on tomorrow, but if something happened that I wasn't, don't wonder why. Just be watching the news. A lot going on in Quebec right now.